This is Desmond Butts, and if you've been on my channel, you've seen me do things from limousine work, flying gyroplanes, to power-driven rebuilding cars. Well, today we are going to set up a solar system from eBay, and it's going to comprise of two separate videos. The first one is tying it to the grid, and I'll explain more in detail later. All right, these are two 200-watt, 24-volt solar panels. And I have these hooked up to a grid tie inverter going to my home through the inside. All right, this is a 600 watt grid tie inverter that is hooked up to the two solar panels that I showed previously. Little quick uh, drill through uh, to the outside wall to hook them up, contained it, put it into here. All you have to do with this grid tie inverter is plug it in the wall. But what I did is I put it into a power strip and it's got a meter on it. Right now, because of the angle of the sun, right now because of the angle of the solar panels and the sun is off to the side, we're only putting out about 77 watts. But that's 77 watts that I don't have to pay for on my meter. On this side you see a green flashing light. That tells you that it's picking up enough uh, electricity from the solar panels to power the inverter. When it goes dark, it will flash red to let you know that the power is offline. Now, a grid tie inverter is a very special type of inverter because it requires backfeed power from the outlet in order to run. This gives it a special characteristic, so if the power goes out here, the grid tie inverter automatically shuts off. That way you're powering into the grid only when the grid has power to it. And that's very important because if the grid goes down and a worker's working on it, you don't want to have a standard power inverter dumping raw power into the grid or you might electrocute one of the workers who's working on the system. So this is just specifically for grid type power back onto the system. Now if you are powering, say, 200 watts and your average use is 2,000 watts, then you're saving 10% off of your power. Of course, if you're powering nothing in the home at all, it will put 200 watts back onto the grid. And some meters will read this in reverse. Other meters will stop and won't supply any more power to your system. Depends on if they're cheating you or if they're not. The whole concept here is that you're averaging out your power consumption, lowering your baseline costs because you're putting power back onto the grid that you're already using anyway, thus reducing your electric bill. Now you can see on a second reading I took with a little more sunlight view, we actually got 190 watts or better. Now you might say, well, what about an emergency? This system isn't designed for a battery backup, so to speak, emergency. This is designed to put power back onto the grid to lower your electric bill overall. The next video that I'm going to have on part two is going to direct the emergency power backup system. It'll be called eBay Solar Power Battery Backup Basics, and I have a total battery power backup with a separate set of solar panels charging it, hooked up to an old 1000 watt pure sine wave UPS system that normally goes to a computer and it powers my fridge for over a day on 24 volt large battery backup system that I have that's hooked up there. That way, in a power outage, my fridge and my computers automatically stay running and my other solar system goes offline that's powering the grid. Thanks for watching, remember to like and to subscribe, this is Desmond Butts, and now you know how to use eBay to solar power your house.